Hey guys, good morning. Dave and Kelly again. I'm having quite a morning. Uh, this is like the third video today. But anyway, guys, Ortario, New Mexico, the county, uh, the um, the commissioners uh, actually took a vote and they're going to make some dramatic changes uh, to the, how they do their voting system and so forth. Uh, take a look at this uh, clip I have. You've got yeah. that right. Amen. Amen. All right. So item number 22. Make a motion to approve the hand counting all ballots cast inside the Dominion voting system to verify code ca vote count of machine after the June 7th primary. I get a second. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Request or uh, make a motion to approve all election ballot drop boxes from the public square and attempt to secure our election in 2022. Do I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay, number 24, I make a motion for the approval to discontinue the use of Dominion voting machines before the 2022 general election. Well, can, I make, can I make one one comment on that? Yes, yeah. sir. David, you said that if we could take the machines to go to court and have them, whatever the little rinse thing you said, and have it checked to make sure it was legal, would those machines still be a legit come, or would so, they, they have a chance to be redone again? In, in my opinion, you, you, you've got so many different vulnerabilities throughout the input output system but there are a couple things that we we have provided to folks that are keeping them from us that we should be part of the discussion so number one we've demonstrated proof of digital manipulation in your voter rolls and it looks like at the vote level without having access to the computers themselves so one way to put that to the test is to because there's a socket design, remove it and inspect your 40 tabulators. It's not that hard to see if they, in, they are in fact have remote access capability. If that's the case, then that's that's huge. Um, number two, um, the source code, the ability to actually make the the decision to flip and shuffle and do all those things, we can determine that. And, and so that'd be another way to alleviate distrust to have that. But my understanding from the Secretary of State is that they've uniformly said you will not touch these machines. We own them as if the coffers that went into paying for them didn't come from the taxpayers in Otero as well as the other counties. And uh, so you're not going to have that ability. And then the source code uniformly, because people have litigated for this, to have access to it, uh, it's been tied up in courts. So that puts you in this really weird position of, okay, well, wait a minute. I still got to certify something. We just ran an election. And I'm saying that, that you can withhold that certification. So regardless of whether people act on letting us see the machines, um, this has never been about just one thing. This is about do your constituents believe that this is something that is worthy of you saying, I'm certifying. In other words, I'm saying that this is trustworthy. That's what it comes down to. And you can withhold that. So even if the clerk has the authority to inspect and say, I make the decision whether to use machines or not, Arby's right. That's her decision of the code. But she cannot use that and force you all to certify something where you're saying, I can't. I can't perpetrate a fraud on the American people. So that, that's where you're at. That, that's, that's your power that no one else can take from you. So if it forces a conversation, whether it's in a court of law, to say, okay, you want my certification? That's what you want for me, because I only I can give it. Let us inspect the source code. There you go. Oh, you want my certification? Because I've got some other things here. Let us look in the machines. And if they can't answer those questions to you, sir, then it's your certification, it's your voice, it's your power, it's no one else's. Okay? Thank you. Well, I really think and I really hope that 32 other counties are listening to this today because they need to wake up. They need to listen to it. All they got to do is answer some questions. Too. Sure. 
That, that's all we're asking. If there's nothing to hide, then why is it so hard to get the information? You know, the harder they push back, the more I want to see it. You know, I mean, it's just, just comply with what we're asking for. I mean, we're not asking to see how anybody voted. Nothing. We just want to look at the machine. So yeah. I've got a problem with that. Because they won't let us do that. And in regards to what Gerald said about other counties, too, you know, um, where are the other counties? Where's Katrin County? Where's Lincoln County? Where's Sierra County? Where, where are the small conservative commission bodies, um, you know? We've got some good news. We'll present the Lincoln County. All right. Uh, we've already presented the county, and we've got uh, great relationships with many commissions in the county. So awesome. Amen. Amen. All right, we already read this. Does anybody want to second it? Or I'll, second? I'll go ahead, Gerald. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay, guys. Now, this video, although it's official and it's coming directly from uh, the streaming from the county itself, there's words and stuff used in the uh, full video that uh, someone like me, if I were to post it, it would get flagged by uh, YouTube. And then, of course, I would get a strike, even though there's nothing, you know, nothing uh, being said that was wrong. It's just that the key words that the algorithm picks up. So anyway... I am going to post the whole thing on the original video over on Rumble. And if you want to go over and take a look at it, just take a look at it. Uh, watch it because there are some unbelievable numbers and charts and things that they show you that, you know, it draws uh, a lot of questions. So remember, if you want that 10 years of good luck, you need to like, share and subscribe so that I can get the algorithm here going uh, just so I can get out there to more people. All right, guys, I thank you for all you loyal watchers and we'll see you on the next one.